Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode of Hats Unboxing. Let's try something different this time. Like most men, I'm very much interested in fast girls and hot cars. Or maybe it was the other way around. Anyway, since I can't afford the full size ones, I stick to the little ones. And in the last weeks I got myself a nice collection of Lamborghini model cars, all made by the toy company Burago. And that is what I want to show you this time. Ok then, let the unboxing begin. I got all these cars from the internet and they have been pretty cheap. Maybe because these cars are toys, made for kids. I just paid a handful of euro for each one of them. And for me, that's the only way to go, since I can't afford the real ones. Yes, it's true. Not all YouTubers make a bucket full of cash. This nice black beauty is a Lamborghini Centenario. I can't tell you what it would cost me in real life. But I can tell you Lamborghini only made 20 of them. So they are out of reach anyway. In the next box we will find a car that is a little bit more affordable. For around 200,000 Euro you can get a Lamborghini Aventador LP704. Not looking too bad I guess. The next car is the Reventon. At least I hope this is how it is pronounced. My Italian is not very good. Again Lamborghini only made 20 of them and the number zero for a museum. So they must be pretty expensive again. In the last box we will find a Lamborghini Diablo. It is an early version, still with the pop-up headlights that was before Audi took over and messed up the beautiful design. If you want to drive one of these, it can be yours for around 150,000 Euro. Maybe you have noticed a small difference in size. On the box all these models have the same scale and they are all made by the same company. Why do they look so different? On the car itself we will find a different scale for the Aventador. That means he's supposed to be smaller than the Diablo. But he's not. I would say these two cars fit perfectly. In real life the Centenario is only 20 centimeters longer than the Reventon. But if you look at these two models they just don't fit. The scale is supposed to be the same, but the Centenario is much bigger in any way. I am a little bit disappointed, but since these are only cheap toys, you shouldn't expect too much. I have to admit, it's been a while since I had that much fun with that little money. I love my new car collection. But what do you think? Do you like this kind of unboxing and do you want to see more? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments for the video. For me this was only an experiment to try something new from time to time. I wonder how many people will watch this video after all. But stay tuned, I will be back with my normal program very soon.